Welcome to Naked and Afraid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Bobby Lawrence and this is Ronald May. Again, kind of the title of the show. Yes. We're really before God. We're stripped naked of our self righteousness. Yes. We're bare, naked before yes. Him. And and are we afraid? Or are we just like, you know, well, yes. it, me and him have a great understanding. <laughs> you know, I, I made my peace with the man upstairs, or the old man upstairs. Uh, you know, we, there's no awe of God. Right off the bat, Mark 1 and 2 say, hey, you can believe everything that you're reading to this point. So hit, hit verse 3. Keep going. Keep going. All right. So it gets stickier. So, uh, see, I am sending my message, or a messenger ahead of you. He will prepare the way, a voice of the one crying out in the wilderness. Prepare the way for the Lord and make his path straight. Again, this is the prophecy of Isaiah. It says, see, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare the your way, a voice of one crying in the wilderness. Prepare the way for the Lord and make his path straight. John came baptizing in the wilderness and proclaiming the baptism of repentance for forgiveness of sins. Yeah. So one big thing I've seen here, because we're reading the Bible, yep. Is the King James in verse 2 just says as it was written in the prophets your Bible what, which translation is this that? is the C uh, CBA uh, what is this New Christian Standard Sorry. okay you're specified Isaiah the prophet well guess where that verse that you just read came from it right. came from Isaiah 40 3 through 5 so that if it wasn't in the original, if it didn't, if it just said the prophets, yeah. all your Bible do it, is doing is clarifying, clarifying. where right. to go to get that Isaiah 4, 43 through I 5. I didn't even have to go reference or anything. <laughs> no, it, in Isaiah 43 through 5, now Isaiah was written way before, oh, yeah. way before the New Testament. Um, the voice of him that cries in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough place plain. Now, you got to think of this. John the Baptizer, John the Baptist is, is who we're talking about. He is hitting that just right on the T. It's not all finny. <laughs> I mean, it was prophesied. Yes. How long ago was that? Yes. Thousands of years? Yes. Thousands of years? And or? the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And what did John say? We're going to get into it. Behold, the Lamb of God. The Lamb of God. So we're not even... He, this part of the prophecy hasn't come true yet. Um, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Now, the amazing thing about Mark, let me tell you the reason I like Mark the most. You know, he was the simplest of all the guys. He wasn't a doctor. Luke was a doctor. Luke, if you read the Gospel of Luke, he gets into colors and everything, the smell, the taste, everything. Uh, all, all the other is really comp Here's Mark, just a simple man. And he's just telling you, he's giving you the redneck version <laughs> of the Gospel right here so Bobby can understand it. I, you know, I get lost over there in Luke, and so, and not saying Luke's bad. You need to read Luke. But this helped me so much more understand. And, and, and every time I do read this, I realize, what well, man, there's a lot I don't know. Yeah. As many times as I've read, and I have read the book of Mark, I don't know how many, there, every time I read it, I find out, man, you know, I'm not very smart. <laughs> I'm really not that smart. Okay, verse 4. John came baptizing in the wilderness, and proclaiming the baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins, the whole Judah, or wait a minute, I'm kind of lost my place. The whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him, and they were baptized by him in the Jordan River, confessing their sins. John, well, wait a minute, let's just stop right there. Okay. Now, how did they know to confess their sins? 
How did they know this was the real deal? John came baptizing in the Yeah, but wait a minute. Where did they baptize in the Old Testament? This is where a little history would come in mm -hmm. um, about the temple and about them washing, cleansing, and the labor before they before they sacrifice the animals. The, uh, the Levitical priesthood had to be totally clean, um, physically um, washing of the, of the sacrifice. So mm -hmm. this is my question. How did they know to go down there and do that? How did they, these weren't the priests. These no. were the me and you's. Yes. <laughs> you the nobodies. Yes. How did they know to leave Jerusalem and go down there and do this? In that day, people got baptized in the name of their rabbi. So, so if if yeah, but and they it, get... it, this is not Bible. This is this is extra writings uh -huh. in the Bible. So, if I followed Rabbi Yosef, then I would get baptized in Rabbi Yosef's name. But but wait a minute, I'm, I'm lost here. Yes. Where in the Old Testament did baptize, baptism well, that, start? They got it through the cleansing at the of temple. the Levitical tribes. Yes, huh. yes, um, when the temple was built. So yeah, they used to wash the meat. Yes. And yeah. And they knew that that meant purity. All yeah. right. So, so, so as as you're talking, where did the ordinance, and some might say the law of baptism, which we mm -hmm. I don't. But some may, you know, some believe that you got to be baptized to get to heaven, unless right. you can't. For, it, we won't go there. Um, but some believe, some some believe that that we're ordered to be baptized, and if we don't get baptized, we're not saved. Okay. Where what you're saying, you can't find that in the Old Testament. Well, that's what I'm saying. How do they know to go down there and get baptized? Because it was a cleansing. He John was preaching the cleansing from sin. So, so let me ask you something. Could there be something missing by the time John showed up on the scene and he's preaching what he's preaching? Could there have been the time that he was teaching that, hey, here's what's coming? Oh, yeah. I believe, I believe John was. So it makes me yes. wonder. That's my question all the time when I get here is, I'm like, now, wait a minute. There's something missing because in the Old Testament, they weren't baptizing. I understand the mm -hmm. washing and all that later on down the road how they got off. But right here, I, so I'm thinking something had to happen in between here for people to really understand because notice this, only the priests and all read the scroll. Mm -hmm. These were just the average Bobbies and, and uh, uh, Joes, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So um, somehow they had to know to come down there and get back. So I'm thinking maybe John must have done some teaching or something that they understood what was really going on because actually in the prophecy it don't talk about him coming baptizing, does it? I'm trying to think if it does or not. I don't and, think it does. I, I, I don't think so. So there had to have been somebody teaching. It wasn't unless just supernaturally God drew them and not to create more confusion or arguments. Mm -hmm. But those are the kind of things I wonder about sometimes that, that how, how that all worked. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, uh, so I mean, I understand about washing them and and that part, but a lot of times I wonder, wait a minute, was John the Baptist up there preaching and saying, look guys, here's what's going on. Mm -hmm. uh, this thing's gonna change. Yes. This thing's fixing to switch. We're fixing to go into something different. In fact, we're gonna start washing you, but that's not just crucify or to burn you up or anything. Uh, but it, it, my, it, there, there has to be something left out, not, intentionally because of the mystery of the gospel. Yes. It talks about the mystery of the gospel. So a lot of this is a mystery, some of it's language, but, but I always wonder, to wonder about stuff like that. So later on in Acts, when we, when we read in Acts, we'll get a group of people who had John's, which we'll get into this in Mark, we won't, we won't follow that trail, I don't think, but there were some people who were getting they were baptized in John's baptism, right. but they did not know of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Right. And so what you're saying is that, you know, John had followers. In fact, yeah. Jesus, oh, yeah. John was still baptizing when Jesus was preaching, and they, and they even tried to bring Jesus against John. Yeah. Oh, and, yeah. And 
So we go back to this unity thing. Yeah. Wouldn't that have been a prime time for Jesus to say, John doesn't know it all? <laughs> you, good, good, Wouldn't that have been a prime time to say, well, you know, yeah. John's by John John got the way he started for me, but he's not quite understanding all this, so yeah. follow me. Jesus never said that, did he? Yeah, no, he never said it. No, he didn't come against John at all, did yeah. he? Uh-uh. The unity. The oh, unity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, that's Jesus himself. But that's a good question. Yeah. On um, where the, where how did these people know um, the Levites were made clean through the washing? I'll tell you what I, my conclusion of this was. It don't matter. It just happened. Yeah, you know what? If that yes. really, at the end of the day, it really ain't gonna make a bit of difference about that. Uh, I could get so caught up into that, I'm missing the overall yes. thing. They went down, repented of their sin, got baptized. That was the whole bottom yes. thing. Yes. And so, see, we can't get off into the ditch. Yes. Yes. And, and that's part of uh, another uh, point that sometimes we can really get into question and everything well is the earth flat you know yeah or that kind of stuff so we can get yes, into a lot of different yeah and uh so right there it is <laughs> so we can um we can get all over yeah. the place and that's what happens this yes. is where we start getting off and just something so simple yeah and somebody asking a question well does you know what is that and boy people can get stuck i don't know how many times we've had guys come in here and they get stuck in something, and they're not necessarily wrong, but they're so stuck on that, they can't see anything but that. Yes. And it blurs the lines with everything. And there's... So read verse 5. And, verse 5. And see where... So you're I, saying I'm running rabbits. Hey, guys, I don't want to interrupt the recording, but just something that I, I saw here before verse 5 on baptism. Uh, it was really because the old Jewish traditions were handed down orally generation to generation, so it actually started earlier on but it all tied back to the whole thing of ritual cleaning Mm -hmm. and cleansing that's that's what what, he was talking about yeah baptism started originally and then obviously we know later in acts where he said you know repent be baptized the times of refreshing may come from the lord so um it's a little more yes yes that's that's good that's good and um if, if if we take the just the bible yeah you're right. There is no. There is no answer. Yeah. And that, these are the points I want to get across yeah, on yeah, these yeah. things. You think we discussed that well enough that it's not leading anybody astray? You know the Jewish tradition and ritual uh-huh. cleansing and all that kind of stuff. I think that explains it. The only other thing is really talk about what that baptism is, and that is a symbol of Christ was died, buried, and resurrected. So we and know, that's what we're going to get into. Symbolically, get into. So yeah. yep. And that's what we're going to get into verse five. When you read verse five, okay. 